Now, we are bringing you reports of uh, everything that's been happening in uh, Pyongyang. Just a reminder that uh, President Moon Jae-in is scheduled to leave uh, Pyongyang International Airport, uh, flying up towards Baekdusan uh, Mountain this morning. We are yet to receive any live footage of that, but as soon as we get it, uh, we'll bring it to you. Now, the defence chiefs of the two Koreas also signed a comprehensive military agreement on Wednesday. This is aimed at reducing tensions and building uh, trust that has been lacking for a great uh, many years, especially under the previous two conservative governments here in South Korea. And this means scaling back military drills, removing some guard posts on the border, and lots, lots more. I'll park you on with the details. South Korea's Minister of National Defense Song Yang Moo and his North Korean counterpart No Gwang Char signed a comprehensive military agreement Wednesday with South Korean President Moon Jae-in and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un present at the scene. The military agreement states very specific details to realize the goal of seizing hostile acts against each other and building mutual trust. First, both sides agreed to cease military exercises along the military demarcation line from November 1st this year. Specifically, all live fire artillery drills and field training exercises at the regiment level and above will be ceased within five kilometers of the MDL. Both sides also agreed to designate no-fly zones for all aircraft above the MDL area from November 1st also aiming to prevent any accidental military clashes on land, air or sea. The two Koreas agreed on specific step-by-step -step procedures and aimed to solve all military issues through peaceful consultations and maintaining permanent communication channels. Secondly, South and North Korea agreed on specific measures to transform the DMZ area into a peace zone. The two sides agreed to remove 11 guard posts each, altogether 22 located within one kilometer of each other by the end of this year as a preliminary measure to eventually removing all guard posts within the DMZ. They also agreed to demilitarize the Joint Security Area and the South, the North and the United Nations Command will remove all mines in the JSA in Panmunjom within 20 days starting October 1st. The two sides also said they will jointly recover war remains within the DMZ as a pilot program with those operations taking place from April to October next year. Thirdly, South and North Korea agreed to turn the area around the Northern Lemon Line and the West Sea, a de facto maritime border, into a peace zone to avoid accidental clashes. The two sides will also establish a joint fishing zone in the area as a pilot program. Lastly, the two Koreas agreed to continue consultations on various military issues for mutual military confidence building. Wednesday's comprehensive agreement came after a series of military talks between generals and colonels of the two Koreas over the past months to realize the historic Panmunjom Declaration, where the two Koreas agreed to cease all hostile acts against each other and reduce military tensions. Park Ji-won, Arirang.